Hello Taurus, this is your reading, you versus them, for the 15th through the 21st. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. See what's going on for you guys. What's going on for Taurus? What's keeping Taurus away from them? Because you're feeling like you're doing what's best for you. Okay, feeling like you're doing what's right. You're just trying to get what you deserve, I feel. Okay, Libra energy there. There's something you're currently weighing, though. Okay, trying to figure something out here. What's keeping them away from Taurus? The fool. They're wanting to start over. They're out for a new adventure. Okay. What's influencing Taurus currently? What's influencing Taurus? What's influencing Taurus? Eight of Swords, worrying. You're trying to figure out what's the right thing to do in this situation. Okay, what is best for you? Gemini energy there. Hmm. What's influencing them? What's influencing them? The Hierophant. This person wants commitment. They want commitment and they have a newfound, um, I'm not going to say it's newfound, but they've moved into a space where if they were kind of going back and forth, kind of being ambiguous about things, about what they really wanted, now it's like they've turned over a new leaf. They know exactly what they want and they're not wavering from it. They want commitment. They want what they feel like they deserve. They've drawn a line in the sand, okay? And if they feel like they're not getting it, then um, they don't want it, okay? What's currently going on for Taurus? The world. Learning some things, I feel. Um, again, I feel like you guys are trying to figure out what is the right thing to do in this situation? What's the right decision to make? what is best for you? What's best for the other person? Um, are you guys good together? Do you want to start over again? Because, you know, with the world, um, this is basically the end of the tarot. So there are lessons that needed to be learned or need to be learned so you guys can start over. Okay. What I'm getting here is that um, also what's influencing them is you, the, the situation with you, what has happened with you, what has transpired with you. This person has learned some things in the connection with you guys where they have come out on the other side, establishing firm boundaries. Okay. So there's something that I feel like you guys are currently, um, wrapping up. And this lesson is it's, it's a good lesson. It's hard, but it's good. You know, it has good results because, you know, Saturn brings longevity. So whatever it is that you learn from this individual, from this, this connection, um, you'll take with you nine times out of 10. Okay. You will not repeat the same mistakes. Okay. Let's see what's currently going on for them. Two of Cups. There's something that they definitely feel a lot of emotions for, um, whether it is a relationship, an intimate relationship. It's my baby. Whether it's an intimate relationship. Hang on one second. Let me calm her a little behind now for a second. So... Yeah, this could be, you know, an intimate relationship, but it doesn't have to be. But there's definitely something that this person is happy about, okay, that involves, um, excuse me, either one other person or maybe a few people, friends, family, that sort of thing. But they're definitely feeling a connection with people right now, okay, for sure. Cancer energy there. What's coming in for Taurus? What's coming in for Taurus? 
Nine of Cups. Being happy. This is a minor for the star. Having your wishes fulfilled. It's a single card. Nicer single card. So, you know, but, you know, the, the Nine of Cups gets you ready for that Tenth Cup. It's like, but first you have to, to, you know, make yourself happy. Because, of course, nobody can make you happy. You can be happy with someone, but um, nobody can make you happy, okay? So very good. Very good. Coming out of that Eight of Swords, all these cards falling out here. I'm going to put those back in and try this again. <clears throat> What's coming in for them? What's coming in for them? Six of Cups. Hmm. Something that makes them happy. Something that, that feels like family that is familiar to them. Um, this may be like reuniting. Okay. Scorpio energy there. Hmm. Reconnecting, reuniting, having good memories. This right here is an undeniable connection. Okay. You know, I'm getting, I don't know why I'm getting with this Two of Cups energy right here, that this person has a nice balance of their feminine and masculine energy. Okay. I'm feeling like, like this is all about them loving themselves for some reason. And in doing so, it, it brings back, it brings certain things around um, that you deserve or they deserve even here. Okay. But definitely a, an energy of like reuniting with someone. Okay. Having that, um, what do you call it? Having that soul, not tied to people, but that soul connection with people, um, kindred spirits, um, something like that coming in for them, I see. Okay. Something that they're definitely happy about. Let's see. What is the advice for Taurus here? What's the advice for Taurus? Four of Wands. Aries energy. I'm feeling like this is a take action to, to stabilize your life. What makes you happy? What's going to bring you emotional stability? Okay. What's going to make your home, you know, more pleasant, your situation more pleasant? Take action on that. If it's this individual, take action on what is going to make your life happier. Okay. What is the advice for them? What's the advice for them? The hermit. Mm-hmm. Really, to really seek out, you know, what it is that they want to stand by. Okay. Um, I know that they've established some boundaries. They've turned over a new leaf. They're not accepting anything that they feel like does not vibe with them. Um, but this to me says, really look at if, if there is a level of stubbornness in this. Um, is there no give? In this situation, is there no compromise in this situation? Not a compromise of your beliefs and your morals, but um, compromises in other areas that could be tweaked a little bit is what I'm getting here. To really kind of take a look at what they have, the standards that they have set and um, that sort of thing. Okay, let's see. What is the outcome for Taurus? That's Virgo energy there. What is the outcome for Taurus? There's a choice to be made here. You have Gemini, Aries, Pisces, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Libra energy here. Virgos here, um, Cancer. Okay, but there's a choice to be made here. 
What do you want? What do you want? The hermit looks for the star. They have the hermit. You guys have the nine of cups, which is a minor for the star. And um, the star leads you to this. Okay. So that is significant. What do you want? You have to make a choice here. Okay. And I think that's why you're in this eight of swords energy where it's like, what do I do? What's best for me? What do I really want? It's time to figure it out. Okay. Let's see. What is the outcome for them? What is the outcome for them? What is the outcome for them? Six of swords moving on. There's two people there though. Moving on with someone. Mm -hmm. I feel like that. Leaving behind things that, you know, you that are no longer serving them. Okay. Letting go of, you know, a lot of the ego, a lot of the, the boundaries or standards that really were just like coming from a very stubborn energy and just not wanting to compromise or, you know, give in, not even a little bit. I'm, I'm thinking that this person is, is going to be able to move on past whatever um, blockages they had here. Okay. So let me pull a Romance Angels card for you guys to close out your reading. Let's see. What do the angels have to say for my Taurus friends? All right. Got cards flying out there. At least one anyway. We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. And I definitely see that. I definitely see that here because you have justice. You have the four of wands. You have the lovers. You have the hierophant here. The six of cups, the two of cups in your reading. And the world. And the fool. This is all about a new beginning. Okay. There is definitely marriage in the cards for some of you. But first, firstly, you have to decide, my friends, what do you want? Okay, so that's what I have for you. And um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.